you know, we remembered several years ago when you could do searches and all of a sudden you're hearing people say, yeah, but I'm going to analyze all the searches done on Google to identify trends and maybe move in advance of where trends are going. But again, the market's aware of that and everyone's doing that. So that's already reflected in prices. And so I think anything tangibly to help people think through, you know, what do we do when we think about machine learning? What do we do when we do have these significant amounts of data and what inferences do we take from, from the data that we, we look at? You know, Bob Merton has a nice way of calling AI assisted implementation. So you can call it, you know, aggregated intelligence for the market, assisted implementation in how people might use the tools. And we use the tools for exactly that. We get a lot of large data sets, as you uh, allude to, and we use those uh, kind of machine learning techniques to understand better the data sets, understand outliers in the data sets, uh, so that we can more efficiently clean and have good data delivered to our investment approaches. Mm -hmm.